Of the DOJ's search warrant affidavit, which supposedly justifies the completely indefensible FBI raid in Mar-a-Lago, has been redacted because you don't have clearance, you can't see it. But one name that is prominently featured not redacted is that of Kash Patel. He's a former chief of staff of DOD from the last administration. So immediately after the affidavit was released with his name unredacted, Peter Strzok, maybe the most famous FBI agent in modern history, tweeted this directed at Cash Patel, and we're quoting, never great to see your unredacted name in a search warrant affidavit. Get a great effing criminal defense lawyer, you're going to need it. So here you have permanent Washington threatening someone on Twitter, but that's totally cool because orange man bad, like what? So we thought we, want to, we would like to speak to Cash Patel himself. He's president of the Cash Foundation. He joins us tonight. Cash Patel, thanks so much for coming on. If I were you, I'm, I, I hate to say this to you, but that, I would be very concerned about a tweet like that from a lunatic like Peter Strzok. <laughs> well, you know, Tucker, as a former national security prosecutor and as a lead investigator for Russiagate, my investigation that I ran with Devin Nunes is the reason Peter Strzok got fired, along with 16 other FBI officials, including Andy McCabe, Lisa Page, Comey, and the like. And their corrupt cabal is back, being escorted out the door, as you just reported on Friday. So the corruption continues, and their bias and their hypocrisy knows no bounds. But of course, they're shameless. As a former national security prosecutor and Peter Strzok, as a counterintelligence head agent, knows that American citizens' names and search warrants are supposed to be redacted. This DOJ, with the same leadership that authorized the Russiagate, is now back in charge, had gone in to intentionally lift a redaction of just my name and then redact the next seven consecutive pages. It was totally for political purposes. They don't care about the threats to my life, the racist message, and the hatred I see every day now because they are publicly advertising for me to fail, to go to jail, and to be harmed. And here's another thing. The FBI did this after a 10-month investigation into death threats from the January 6th subpoena committee on me, and on Friday, the same day they issued the affidavit, is the same day they ended the investigation saying, even though they had credible evidence, we could go no further. It's, it's, it's just beggar's belief. So uh, a high, one of the highest ranking officials at the FBI is threatening you on Twitter. Where's the current FBI director to call Peter Strzok and say, hey, you can't do that because you eliminate all public confidence in this agency when you do? Well, the current FBI director, Chris Wray, was the FBI director when we ran the Russiagate investigation, and he had the opportunity then to expose all the corruption at the FBI, and he failed, and he's been covering up since. Look, we said since the beginning, we got out 60 percent of the documents for the Russiagate investigation. Forty percent remained. President Trump declassified those specific documents, and this entire raid on his house, I believe, was to prevent the disclosure now that the government gangsters are back in charge of their corrupt activities from Russiagate on down, because now that they they have an open FBI counterintelligence investigation, they will shield any, re uh, redact any release of documents because they will say we have an open investigation. Congress has a lot of work to do, and I'm glad whistleblowers are coming forward. They need to be doing so uh, in droves. This behavior is just so over the top. The next time a prominent critic of the FBI has kitty porn found on his laptop or fentanyl in his car, I don't think anyone's going to believe it's real. That's how corrupt it seems to me, and we just wish you absolutely the best. Cash Patel, you have a, a right, a constitutional right to give your views in public without being threatened.